for Burnaby South. Millennials in Canada are feeling the squeeze of inflation more than the rest of Canadians. In fact, a CBC article reports the trustee insolvency has concluded that Canadian millennials have been dealt a bad hand. And it's true. If you look at it, they got student debt, they've got bad credit card debt, and post-pandemic tax debt from collecting CERB. In fact, it means that more and more millennials are filing for bankruptcy. In the interest of generational fairness, will the Prime Minister confirm today there will be measures in the budget to give young Canadians a break. The right honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, from the moment we first took office in 2015, our focus has been on supporting young people and supporting all Canadians. And we recognize, for example, that millennials are struggling with the costs of housing, whether it's a young family looking to buy their first home or a student trying to rent an apartment near campus. That's why we've been taking action on so many fronts. On housing, we've been helping Canadians save up for their first home. We've been investing in building and repairing more homes, including by supporting local governments to fast-track the creation of 100,000 new homes. We're providing support for low-income renters, which Conservatives voted against. We're ensuring houses are used as homes, not investment vehicles. The Honourable Member for Burnaby South. Mr. Speaker, it's clear that the cost of living is going up. It's harder and harder to make ends meet or to buy groceries. We learned recently that the government will announce a grocery rebate in the budget. So today, I would like to confirm that that rebate is the same thing as what we've been asking for for a long time, to double the GST rebate. The Right Honourable Prime Minister, I know that all my colleagues here on all sides of the House are looking forward to seeing how we're going to help Canadians in tomorrow's budget, but they will have to wait, like everyone else, to see all the measures that we will be bringing forward. But I will say that we will be there to help with the cost of living. We will be there to help youth, seniors and all workers with measures that will help during this difficult period while ensuring that we also get results in our health care system and that we create good middle-class jobs in a greener and more sustainable growing economy. The Honourable Member for K. 